go to a theater, you look in front of you, Latinos. To your left, Latinos. Para la derecha, Latinos. Atrás, Latinos. Y en la pantalla grande. Hola mis amigos, hoy día me encuentro con Diego Tinoco, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias por, por estar aquí conmigo. No, gracias por estar aquí en Miami, ¿cómo estás disfrutando de la ciudad? Es mi tercera vez en la ciudad de Miami. La primera vez vine de, de muy chavo, cuando era muy joven. Y la segunda vez era antes de la pandemia, pero ahora quiero disfrutar todo de Miami después de estas entrevistas. Qué bien. Pues, Knights of the Zodiac, oh, yeah. cuéntame un poquito sobre esto. ¿Tú eras fanático de este, de este genre, digamos? Yo crecí con anime, pero yo crecí con Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Dragon That Ball Z, yeah. That was my yeah. go-to, right? I mean, Dragon Ball Z, being a Latino in the United States, that was playing on Cartoon Network in every Latin household, right, at night. Absolutely. I wasn't too familiar with this one. Uh, however, once I started the project and I started doing my research, y empecé a hablar a mis primos en Ecuador y en México, todos me estaban contando que este anime is arguably one of the greatest animes of all time. And, uh, well, that added a little bit of pressure. But, uh, but I'm really proud of the movie and how it came out. And uh, I think we honored the original Japanese anime and manga. Now that you say that, the fans of this genre also are very mm -hmm. intense. Is there yeah. anything that surprised you about the fans about, of this um, series? You know, I, I think the thing that surprised me most was uh, definitely how passionate they were, right? I mean, they are so passionate. This is like their baby. This is like their treasure, right? As it should be, right? It's a great show. Um, but yeah, that surprised me and uh, also what really surprised me was how incredibly talented some of these fans are. I mean, they come out with some incredible work, some, uh, some you know, fan art, and art. They, they release it on I Twitter and I'm it, like, yes. hey, this could be like, you know what I mean? This could be its own uh, series right there. And now your character yeah. is a very loved character by many in yeah. the series, but he's also like a badass, he's angry, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. He's yeah. a complex character. How is it yeah. being him during this series? You know, it's, it's such an honor and it's such a privilege to uh, represent such an iconic character from such an iconic franchise, right? Especialmente en toda Latinoamérica, oh, yeah. Mexico, and en todos lados, no? Um, so it, it was, uh, you know, we don't really see too many of uh, Latin superheroes on a screen. I mean, I can name them on, on the top of my hand. We got Tenoch Huerta in Marvel. Tenemos a Sochi Gomez in Marvel. Sí. Y ahora tenemos a, a Zolo Maridueña. Correcto. Para Blue Beetle. Right. And I'm, I'm going to be first in line supporting sí, sí. my Latin brother. I love it. For that one. Uh, pero, mira, los latinos estamos en el cine. We're, we make up like 50% of the audience, right? Correcto. You go to a theater, you look in front of you, Latinos. To your left, Latinos. Para la derecha, Latinos. Atrás, Latinos. Y en la pantalla grande? Correcto. So it truly is a privilege, it's an honor that Sony's doing this and I'm able to represent this character and uh, hopefully it inspires, you know, all my, all my Latinos out there. Me encanta, literalmente hiciste un trabajo excelente. Ahora, some of the choreography you did, because, mm -hmm. I mean, Andy Chang, yeah. I'm a fan, yeah. he's amazing. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo fue trabajar con él? Porque también tuviste que ponerte los pantalones ahí yeah. y bajarte un poco, ¿no? Tenía que dejar de comer <laughs> mis galletitas, mis cinnamon rolls y todo eso. Oh, no. But Andy, Andy is such a such a professional in what he does. I mean, he's worked with so many movie stars, right? Such as Jackie Chan. Correct. He just did uh, Marvel's Legend of the Ten Rings. Yes. Which was an inc that's one of my that's I think that might be my favorite Marvel movie. Oh, okay. If not, you know, top three top. at least. But that one, I love that movie. Um, but yeah, working with Andy, he he's so smart at what he does, and he set up all the actors on the right course, right? It wasn't too much, it wasn't overwhelming. It was just the right amount of, of uh, learning and being able to progress in, in the choreography and learning it day by day. And we trained, I mean, every single day. Um, I came off a 12 hour flight from Budapest and straight to training. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the choreography looks great. And uh, again, I'm proud of the movie. So uh, I owe it to Andy. Pues Diego, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros hoy día. Y te bueno. deseo nada más que lo mejor, o sea, gracias. you did great. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Muchas gracias.